some really interesting things are happening down at Brownsville, Boca Chica, Starbase, Texas area. Now, that's where SpaceX is building the world's largest rocket, the Starship. It's around 400 feet tall and is more powerful than any rocket that's ever flown. Now, they're building this rocket, and that's very interesting. But there are things that are happening behind the scenes that are almost as interesting as the rocket itself. And it's kind of weird because you don't really hear about this stuff that much. But it's one of the most important aspects of delivering a rocket to space, and that's the infrastructure. How do they build the rocket? It's the machine that builds the machine, as Elon Musk would say. And how do they do that? Well, they have to work with local governments, and they have to work with the land that they have to build the machines on. Now, just recently, SpaceX and the city of Brownsville worked together, came up with a resolution to rename the Boca Chica area where Starbase is, which is where they're building this giant rocket. They want to rename it to Starbase, straight up Starbase. Boca Chica, it will be known as Boca Chica going forward. Um, it, you know, if they want to reference it, they can call it Boca Chica or they can just call it Starbase. And this is from the BronzevilleTexas.gov site. City passes resolution. This has happened last year, by the way, uh, December 18th. So city passes resolution in support of renaming area east of Brownsville to Starbase. So the Starbase area, about 20 miles away from Brownsville. It's about a 30-minute drive-ish. I've driven it hundreds of times. And it's known to most people in the spaceflight community as Starbase. And most people that are locally there, they know it is Boca Chica. So it does take a little bit of nudging from the local government and also uh, the state of Texas to rename this because there are things that happen behind the scenes that we don't see because we see the rocket all the time, right? We see this giant rocket, but this is, it's important. Trust me. The notice is hereby given that a regular meeting of the board of Cameron County spaceport development corporation will be conducted as authorized by the VTCA, Texas government code, et cetera, et cetera. So basically what they're doing, uh, approve a resolution in support of the United States Postal Service mailing name, which I know it's not cool, like it's a post office thing, but the renaming the spaceport of Starbase to actual Starbase. It's a postal code now. So if you have one, two, three, four Starbase, that's your address now. One, two, three, four, Boca Chica. The man will probably still get there. They, they pretty much know what it is. There's not other things out there. So it's either going to be Starbase or Boca Chica. So that's interesting this ha that that is happening. But there's also a few other things that are happening along the lines of the Starbase facility itself. And the thing is massive. You know, there's a, a production facility that builds the rockets. And then there's a launch facility down the road about a mile-ish that flies the rockets. So what's in between there, though? There's just kind of dead space. There's really not much. There's a couple streaming platforms, uh, a couple of YouTube streamers that sit on the side of the road and film. There's people that hang out there on the side of the road and there's robot filmers all over the place. So what does SpaceX need to do? They need to get that land. They need to get that land. They make they need to make sure that all the land in between the production facility and the launch facility, they can use as much as possible. Right. So if they can do that, if they can do that, they can build more parts of the machine that builds the machines that'll take us to Mars. Um, right here, state considers handing over parkland to SpaceX. Now, this is a big deal. This isn't just a let's hang out and build a couple rockets here and there kind of thing. This is a huge deal because this is going to uh, it's kind of kind of set off some alarms for environmental advocates down there. Um, but also SpaceX is going to be using this area to build the infrastructure that will be building the rockets even faster though they already do. And then they're going to have two launch pads there, um, where the rock two rockets per day possibly could launch from Starbase, as it's been named now by the post office. So they can do that now. So all of these little green dots here, let me explain this to you. All these little green dots right here. These are whoop. These are places that are owned by the state right now. Little plots of land, these little ones right here, and this one right here. So this right here, that's where they launch the rockets from, and this little arrow right here that I just pointed to. This area right here is where they launch the rockets from. To 
Uh, this is towards Brownsville this way. If you go that way, it's towards Brownsville, about 20 minutes, 30 minutes that way. But everything in between here, little plots of land, the state owns that land. So SpaceX can't use it for anything. Uh, they can't build there. They'll get in major trouble if they build there. All of those plots, they're owned by the state. Um, what are they from? There are people that own lots of land there, little tiny lots of land. I actually thought about buying one of those lots because you could put up a robo camera and have a live stream of Starbase 24 seven if you have one of those lots. So you could buy one of these lots. There are lots over here as well that you can, you know, put a camera in and, you know, there's there's other places over there that you could put a camera. But one of these lots is something that I was interested in, but it's kind of expensive to, to buy these lots. Um, talk to a couple of people. It's very it's a process. Let's just say that <laughs> it's a it's a pretty big process. But SpaceX would use this to move facilities over to these lots. And as you can see, there are a few of them like this one right here. These are all clustered together so they could build something there. They could build something in this cluster. Something in this cluster, this butts right up against where they are right now, this cluster, et cetera. So they could have little, little things, little pockets where they could, I don't know, build fuel depots or something. I don't know what they're going to do there. Nobody really knows right now. They know they're going to develop it if they, if this passes and it has to go through the government of Texas in order to pass, right? So the government of Texas has to pass this. They have to make sure that everything's up to code. But this is what's going to happen. SpaceX has all of this land up here, the Laguna land up here. It's like 44 acres of land. And all they want are those little plots down there, all these little green plots. And if they exchange these tiny green plots for like, I think it's 44 acres. If you look up here a little bit, it tells you how much it is. But if they exchange that and they see that there's a value, if the Laguna uh, has more value than the Boca Chica area, then the state, the Texas Parks and Wildlife Commission, um, they may be okay with this because if they can trade, this would be an even trade, it, by the way, SpaceX would trade that giant chunk of land for those little plots throughout so they can develop more things. So this is going to be an ongoing story. This may not happen right away. Um, this is supposed to happen sometime um, a date uh, adopted and approved 25th uh, of January. 2024. And if they approve this, this is going to be happening in the next few days that they approve this land uh, trade here with SpaceX and the government of Texas. So if they can do this, it's 43 acres from Boca Chica SP, the exchange tract. Um, and then so that's what SpaceX would be getting 43 acres. And they'd be giving them giving the state 477 acres near the Laguna, 477 acres. So if you do the math, <laughs> that's an exponentially huger amount of numbers, 43 compared to 477. I think the government of Texas would be okay with them, you know, the wildlife refuge going back to them. Uh, but it also depends. There's so many other factors though. Who's going to take care of this land now? Um, there, will they have to hire people to take care of this land now? The 477 acres was SpaceX taking care of this land before. Were they paying for it? Um, and is SpaceX just going to have that big cluster, like I was saying before, like this cluster of land um, near Starbase? That's it. That one strip of land, you know, uh, near the production facility, which is over here ish. And then all the way down to here, they would have little spots and then they'd have all of this uh, to build the rockets at. So that I think that in itself is pretty interesting. So. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments, though. Let me give this video a like as well, if you can, um, just to in case you need stuff like this in your life. If you need fun, interesting things that aren't just about the rockets that are about the process, because I love the process. So if you like the process of building rockets and the infrastructure, give this video a thumbs up. And if you love SpaceX, uh, subscribe to the channel. It takes a second and it'll help out the channel tremendously and will help you out even more because you get other spaceflight channels in your feed if you do that because YouTube will see that you like spaceflight with this channel and they're going to suggest you other channels, not this one, maybe this one and other ones too that you might not be aware of. So thank you for that. And also please take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you in the next one.